Dick is deserving of every award, <laughs> and this one in particular. His love for legal aid, his love for the practice of law, his love for the community, and everything that the Ramey Award represents is Dick. When the history of Cleveland is written 40, 50, 60 years from now, and the question is asked, who was the most impactful leader in the history of Cleveland? There will be some people who will mention a particular mayor uh, or an elected official, but I think most people will say it was Richard Polk, Dick Polk, that he knew all the mayors, he knew all the governors, he knew all the U.S. senators, but it was more than just being somebody who was on the front page of the newspaper. It was somebody who sometimes even wanted to fly beneath the radar and to help people and didn't want to necessarily even be recognized. The first word I think of when I think of Dick Pogue is generous, but that's such an understatement that it just doesn't do what it should do. Dick Pogue is an amazing leader. And the thing that strikes me about Dick most is he is a man of ideas and relationships and a man of action. He believes in justice and he knows he has a responsibility to pursue it for other people and he does exactly that. Dick is a very unique and special person. When he was the managing partner here at Jones Day, he um, uh, for nine years took this firm from 335 lawyers to over 1,200 lawyers and grew us internationally, opened up offices in Paris and Frankfurt and uh, Taipei and Singapore, really, really expanded Jones Day like no other managing partner. But, but at the same time, while he did all of this, he was very active in the community. Certainly, as far back as the 70s and 80s and through till today, he's been involved on the local, state, and national level to increase understanding of the value of legal aid and increase support for legal aid. So he's dedicated so much of his time to spreading the word, to sharing with colleagues this issue, and that not just that it's a problem, but there's a solution. Dick is extremely humble and he brings people along when he was asked to chair the campaign for the legal aid society he said i don't i don't think i can do it alone i want co-chairs and i want to bring them along with me he shares he shares responsibility but he also shares victories and he is he is very encouraging of people i would say the fact that he puts others first dick pogue has a lot to be proud of on his own resume. But he doesn't focus on himself, he doesn't focus on his resume, he focuses on other people, and in particularly the larger community. This is somebody who, in his DNA, gives back. I did a quick back of the envelope before coming here today, and I think Dick would even be surprised to know that through his efforts and on these in these campaigns, he's helped raise over a billion and a quarter dollars. It's just remarkable to have 10 pages in your bio of community service. I don't think anyone can equal that. For a lot of people who are busy lawyers, it's easy to have sort of a one or two dimensional life. And because you're working so hard and you're doing that really well and you get so much fulfillment from that. But Dick is a three, four, five, 175 dimensional person. He is somebody who likes people and brings them in He's so kind and so giving of his time and his energy, and it just makes you feel good to be with him. I think that Dick Pogue, more than any other person I can think of, including some of our great mayors and our great CEOs, has had a greater impact, a more profound impact on the public sector, private sector, and nonprofit sector than anyone in the history of our city.